What is going on guys today we are looking at Danny Almo he has got himself a team of the year honorable mention card in an SBC to be honest I really thought they were kind of done with the SBC as soon as though we've got them gone Friday but we do have him until the 16th so not bad at all obviously another SBC done and to be fair to him 89 rated coming in at a, a relatively nice sort of 89 to be fair to him as especially for the Bundesliga we have got a few options obviously in Muller and Kunku and many many more which we'll discuss in the overall he doesn't look terrible he's a four star four star which again isn't awful he's come from an 82 rated card no upgrade on the weak foot or skill moves a high medium on the defensive obviously right footed 510 with flair and outside of the foot being his main two traits we then have to be fair some good dribbling stats on him everything's looking pretty high and mighty passing wise good short long is decent and a bit of shooting can't go amiss in terms of the chemistry style we're obviously going to go whack a hunter so let's go and put that on and show you what it looks like so as we can see we get a plus 10 obviously on his pace taking that to 92 on the acceleration and on the sprint speed which again i can't complain with we'd also then get a plus six bonus on his shooting taking that to 91 giving him 93 finishing and shot power as well as 99 volleys and 97 attacking position to be honest it's a very well worked cam let's jump straight into the gameplay see what armo can do for us into Almo then. Let's have a look and see what we've got with him. Obviously, dribbling, like I said, should be relatively decent. We see pretty responsive to start with. Very nice turning. That's what we want to see. Is obviously right-footed, so we're going to kind of favor that foot if we can. We're going to find him back. Maybe not. To Almo here. What can we find for the pass? Vinny wants it. Still goes on his right foot. That's a solid, solid move. Gets the ball in. Vinny's going to try and ping one across into Felix, but unfortunately cannot steer it towards the goal. Almo, beautiful, just comes out of nowhere, absolutely lovely, gets it on his left foot, and it's a solid slot, lovely, keep the dribble going, very nice, he's going to turn it round, very good indeed, we're looking for that one too with Messi, as soon as he comes in, Almo slots, and it's a great save from Testegen. again, like I say, in terms of dribbling, I think actually really, really nice, again, not necessarily the most uh, kind of smooth dribbling, but Definitely in terms of pace of dribble, I really can't complain at all with him. And I think in terms of kind of where you're positioning him, he, again, he's, he's in the middle. I feel like middle cam definitely suits him down to the ground. I think centre mid, you could probably get something out of him. But I think that defensive uh, work needs that little bit too much of a kind of a shadow. Whereas I think the hunter is more beneficial. So I think that really kind of puts him in his place straight away. Find him again with this over the run. Oh, it's just a little bit too heavy on that through ball. Back into him. Gets the little turn. Away from best. This guy is not fully committing to him. And that's why we're just trying to find that space. It's very hard when he doesn't go to attack here. Almo looking for that through ball. It's... Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely cracking ball. Finds the keeper open. And we try and find Vieira on the edge. But unfortunately, cannot get the angle. Back to Olmo. Goes for the long shot into Stegen through the mist of people. Manages to get that tackle in. Saving. Olmo takes it. A little bit of a spin, maybe. Lovely. Inside turn. Goes across goal. And obviously, Varane is there like the wall. Olmo again. Oh, to Stegen. Loving the saves. Olmo pushing forward. He gets absolutely open space. This guy is not trying to attack him. Left foot across goal. And again, we managed to see it go in from the Olmo left foot. Olmo again just proving he can really play this cam roll. Goes for the finesse this time. And honestly, outside of the foot is just not the way to go with it. So going into the overall for him then. So he's coming in at zero. Beautiful. Free SBC. That's what you want to see. So it's about 50,000 coins, and this one requires an 85. So we got that last, or oh, yesterday, with the year in review. So 90,000. So he's coming in anywhere between about 120 to 140 in terms of what you're going to get back. I don't think that's necessarily awful. Um, again, we are going to deep dive into what you could choose or if you have got better. Obviously, straight off the bat, we're looking at, for instance, more cams and Kunku, Royce, Muller flashback, wherever he is. I know he's a little bit lower rated. Um, obviously, Nkunku has a few different versions. If you did the New Year's in review uh, player pick yesterday, you may have got him. We personally have him on the second account. You've also got a rule breaker version of him. You've got Verts. Um, I think center mid-wise, 
if you're looking for him, I think that's probably a little bit of out of his zone, in my opinion. But you do have the likes of Goretzka, Kimmich, who's kind of DM more base, but you can go for a centre mid if you really, really want with him. So I think he's coming in in, in a good slot. I just don't think he's quite up there in terms of a cam you'd need right now. Obviously, in terms of Spain, I feel like that's going to be more beneficial for you because that is always the best thing about these cards that are not um, German in the Bundesliga or um, kind of Spanish in the Spanish league. You've got multiple options there. You've got a Bundesliga team and then you've got the Spanish team. And in terms of Spanish cams, you've not really got a hell of a lot. Obviously, um, Pozzolo, Pozzoli. I don't know how to pronounce that, but him, you've got him who's free, but you had to have chosen him. David Silva, again, I'd probably choose Olmo over him. Parejo is more of a CM, same as Lorente is more of a CM, if anything. Then if we go a bit further down, again, there's just not really a cam in there. So realistically, Olmo is the better cam or the best cam you can get for a Spanish team. So that's where his multi-use is. And then obviously, if you want to put him in your Bundesliga team later on down the line, or obviously right now, then you have got two purposes for him. If you've got the fodder spare, if you're still doing upgrades, league SBCs, all of that good stuff, then obviously then it's a perfect option for you. In terms of the fair price, I like the fact that it doesn't require any team of the weeks because we've literally just got another SBC, which is this one, that does require team of the week. So I'm very, very happy that they have kind of stayed away from that and just put um, an 84 with 65 chem and an 85 with 50 chem. I think that for me is more than more than enough to be able to do it. So in my opinion, I think he's worth the grind. Wouldn't necessarily go out and pay coins for him. I don't think he's necessarily that more beneficial to people's team. But definitely if you've got the fodder, you've got really nothing else to put it into then have a little gander at him he's there till the 16th so you've got a fair few days a good 14 days to get him done let me know down below what you think about him i'd probably bring him in at about an 8.8 8.6 somewhere around about there i think he's good not necessarily the die need to get him now but definitely worth the grind if you can to get him done with free fodder so if you did enjoy make sure you like and subscribe and i'll catch you all for the next one peace